Magi the Labyrinth of Magic Chapter 198 Review Alright, first and foremost I have to say two things Number one I'm so glad this chapter actually came out yesterday And not on Sunday like it usually does Because I was watching football And chilling with fam Chilling with family I mean, ain't gonna apologize for that Number two this was supposed to be up. I tried a couple times to get this review up yesterday. But I had technical difficulties. What do you do? It's life, man. You, you know how you do sometimes with technology. So getting right into this. Y'all see the thumbnail. What does it read? Making big plays. That was the whole point. The whole point of this chapter. I mean, the progression, like... It's strange about this kind of plot progression. They didn't go anywhere, so to say. But there was massive, massive plot progression. Massive setup. The foreshadow. I mean, this chapter here. The stuff that happened. All the stuff that fit in this chapter. Oh my goodness. I would kept going like, yo, what? That was my reaction to Moses' chapter. Just like, what in the world? Just like, whoa. All right, so so we start off with um, Sphinctus holding um, Marjorie or whatever her name is. It's, it's been so long since we've seen her name, I've forgotten. Anyway, he's holding a young lady in his arms, and he's mourning. He's weeping over the loss of his close friend Titus, right? And um, next we see Aladdin, you know, him, Alibaba, and Morgiana. Um, they're in the midst, and it's a huge standoff. Between the Seven Seas Alliance and their co empires, you know, metal vessel users. The co empires, metal vessel users, most of them, including Cohen at this point, all tired and worn out. But they're like, yo, we, we ain't trusting Sinbad and his folks, okay? This, this said, this Seven Seas Alliance is like, you know, that, that there's a, it's tense. It's a tense moment. And Sinbad's like, y'all, y'all, it's all good in the hood, you know? Um, it's all good. And Yuna's like, yo, Aladdin, tell the folks what we did. You know, what Morgiana, you know, you know, Morgiana and, and Alibaba is looking, Morgiana, what, what's what's happening? So, Sinbad's like, yeah, you know, we, we made a confederation with the Reem Empire, you know, to make sure that, you know, there's, there's a boundary between Reem and Co. And look, a lot of people will talk about, and I think I've mentioned it in the past, about uh, Sinbad's shady side. Sinbad, look, this is world peace, but come on, man. This is looking real. Look look at look at him in this chapter. He had them faces, man. A lot, a Sinbad is shady as hell. Sinbad shady as hell. Now, Cohen's like, all right, all right. Yeah, they could easily take us out now. But you know what? I, I see what kind of man you are, Sinbad. Okay. So since you're going to do that, big play number two. He's like, I'm going to take Aladdin. <laughs> Aladdin's face, man. That face, dog. And he's like, yeah, you promised, right, Aladdin? He's like, yeah, Uncle Cohen. Yeah, 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 Uncle. But Uncle, you know, you, you don't want, you know, we don't want this conflict. And then out of nowhere, we see the magicians come riding up and like, y'all ain't taking Aladdin. And so, so we see that see this kind of um, stand off there. That that was great. All that just big play after big play, and then we see uh, switch over. I'm trying to remember how I go down. Oh yes, we switch over to um, um, Gyokuin, and and you know she talking with her folks, and they they break it down what happened to Sherry Harazar. They pretty much, I guess they're. Trying to get in with Reem or something like that, the Reem Empire, some how to infiltrate or something. And she's talking all this mess about you know, um, building up their own magi and stuff like that. Um, how would that and and but the the they're talking, you know, she's saying let's celebrate and all, but we get some important information from one or more of the uh, the mask dudes, and they're like, you know, this this Sinbad, I mean, not Sinbad. Solomon's so arrogant and he's explaining how you know the transfer of the mago of the rook of um the rope however you want to say it 
uh, Scheherazade and he's talking about clones and stuff and Scheherazade has made plenty of clones and stuff so I'm like whoa so she made more than a clone of herself and of Titus so we'll see where that goes you know I'm glad to see Scheherazade ain't axed okay I'm glad to see it and then we move into the sacred palace we see Ugo for a little bit and we see you know he's talking about you know sending back Scheherazade's um Rook and pretty much Scheherazade is like, yo, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, especially uh, other reviews have been saying, some different other reviews have been saying Titus is going to come back, going to be resurrected. And I had no qualms. I had no beef with that. I kind of expect, you know, hearing it, you know, kind of expect that it, it isn't reasonable. And so Scheherazade, like a mother, even though Titus is, she grew him. She pretty much was like a mother to him, okay? Let, let's just be real. Pretty much like a mother. Of course, the mother's going to want her son, you know, her child to, you know, have life. So, and plus, you know, he wanted to live so badly and all that. So, you know, he's sent in replace of Scheherazade. And what the, the, um, Al Thorman was worried about is Scheherazade's, um, memories and whatnot. But I have to, uh, throw this in there too. Union man, the enigma continues. Like, uh, I guess he's kind of like Aladdin. I don't know. I was, it was confusing that whole conversation about the the magi and like that. I'm guessing Union's kind of like Aladdin, but we need more explanation on Union. Period. Um, and then so we see from, from the sacred palace, we see um, I mean we see Magnus start that door. That place is tore up. But the people, you know, they're going to start trying to recover. And Sinbad did say, well, our plans ain't to take over Magnostar. Nah, bro. We ain't about to, Nah, that ain't our plan. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens there. So, we see, um, like I said, you know, you got all the people out there. And we see the, the young lady, Marja, or whatever her name is. She, she wakes up and is like, yo, you know. He's here, and everybody, you know, Sphinx and Aladdin, they're confused and whatnot. And at the same time, you had Mu. Uh, he he's like the magic circle from from a homeland. Now, I at the time when I read that at first, and then thinking back, I understood that when I read it at first, I thought he was talking about from the Dark Continent. I thought that I'm like, whoa, but no, 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 he was talking about from the ring, from ring. So the magic transfer circle, I guess, was still open to kind of, you know, let them through or they had reopened it, whatever. Anyways, we see a figure, a black figure in, in relation and then we see it's Titus Alexis. But yo, Titus, I really digging his look with the toga and he's pretty much a hybrid of Scheherazade, you know, and him. Because the whole Scheherazade, them locks off. Wrong oh, man. I like it. I like it. And and it was a great reunion. And then the chapter seems in that there. But I'm glad, you know, I flipped the next page because yo yo did y'all see that last page though? That last page, man. Oh, and you know, at the end, and I thought I'm like, is this complete? Because you know I had said that uh you know Magno stop arc ends you know magnum stop war arc it ends but that last page though take a moment for silence for that last page dude dude judar and hakariu what did they come there for judar huh? black rook all that black rook that was there judar takes it because only a black magi can can possess all that dark, all that black root, that dark root. Yo. Like, yo, that's setting up big plays. And we see Hakuryu. And a lot of people saying Hakuryu don't win all. Hakuryu does not look happy at all. He, he looks quite saddened. I mean, he's not, you know, depressed or greatly agonized. But he looks, he looks sad. And, and that's sad. And he's like, you know, I'm sorry. Aladdin, Alibaba, and Morgiana, I had to make this choice. I had to go against the way y'all are going. We, you know, we, we need more on that. We need more. We need more. But, y'all, overall, this chapter, 10 
out of 10. It was a perfect, it was a perfect chapter. Perfect chapter of Magi. It was a perfect way to conclude this arc. I mean, it set up so much. It, it you know, it finished stuff off beautifully. And, yo, this war arc is how it's done, man. This war arc. And, tr I'm, you know, it's kind of like the Marine Four arc. I, I can't wait till that real war happened. Because it, this was a precursor. Oh, and one last little piece of information. Huge. That I, I can't believe I almost forgot. Yoko and said something very, very key. She said that when we get our medium, when we build when we build our own medium, develop it, whatever, pretty much the door is open for a month. I can't remember the exact time. But it's a relative short amount of time, a month, a year, whatever. Five years, whatever it was. Relative short amount of time. So the window is open and easily be able to pull down farther. So... <laughs> Threat's definitely still there. But even even with the threat of father, I, I think there's more to it. I, and like, you know, I made a previous video about um, Four Kings arc, you know. I think there's a lot of stuff that can go down. Even with the Mono, father threat, even, you know, we, we gotta we gotta meet the Fainos, the, the finals class, Fainos class, however you want to say it, over Finals Clan, over in, um... Fantasy Clan over in the um, Dark Continent. We've definitely got to find more about Union. You know, Alma Toron, we got... We, there's so much, so many big plays left. So, this series of Magi, man. This series, if you have not read it, check it out. This chapter, 10 out of 10. Beautiful. You can't really get much better than this, you know. You just can't. Especially as a conclusion of an art, you can't do it. So, you unexpected one to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me y'all thoughts. Um... I mean, I can't, I can't even make a prediction because I don't even know what's about to go here. Is it a new, new chapter, new arc starting? I don't know what's about to go down. I'm expecting big plays, man. Next chapter, 199 and almost 200 chapters, yo. So yeah, y'all. I'm signing out. Peace. Have a beautiful day.